It's that time again for another Mr. Sin video. Today on the Mr. Sin channel, we're going to be talking about where do people not want to live? Turns out we have a lot of people who love the world and love to live all over the place. But we do have some parts of our planet that aren't the most hospitable. And because of this, they're people are sparsely populated in these areas. So sit back, relax, as we figure out where in the world are people not. So while this video is talking about where people don't want to live, I also have another video on population clusters that looked at concentration of people and also density, talking about where do people actually want to live and where are we seeing the most growth and also the biggest concentration of people. I would recommend checking that video out first because that's going to be important for you to understand. This one's just talking about where people don't want to live. One of the things in that video, and for here, we're going to go into that term right now, is the acumen. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's a really weird word now to think about it. But acumen, all it means is these are areas that we have permanent settlements. These are where people are living. And over time, people have spread out throughout the world. And our acumen has essentially gotten larger because we are inhabiting more and more of the earth. Now, with that, though, we have a lot of areas that are still uninhabited. And we have a lot of areas that, frankly, people don't want to live in. Now, we're going to go over them because there's four of them. And the way actually kind of the trick to remember is remember it's always two. It's always two something. First one is it's just too dry. Over 20% of the planet really you can't even farm because there's not enough moisture or water. It's too dry. Life doesn't really work there. And so people don't want to live there. So we see societies avoid these areas. The next two is it's just too wet especially in areas that get tons and tons of water, particularly even by the equator, where we have a lot of rainfall all the time. And then with the heat, what happens is actually the nutrients in the soil get pulled out. And then it makes it really hard to be able to farm or produce food and to be able to have a stable society. The next one is it's too cold. Places on our planet are always frozen. North Pole, the South Pole, you don't want to live there because you really can't. You can't have agriculture. It's too cold. And the last one is places that are just too high. Places that are too high have steep ledges and it's really hard to have a permanent structure there. There's also wind and other environmental factors that normally come into play. No one's living on top of Mount Everest. Now, maybe someone camps up there or they're hiking up there, but we don't have permanent settlements. And that's it. Those are the four categories that you need to remember. When we're talking about how people are spread out and how sparsely people are located, these are the things to remember. So when remembering these, just remember the twos. It's too cold, it's too high, it's too wet, and it's too dry. Hopefully even just the name of those kind of are self-explanatory of why people wouldn't want to live there. And that could help you on your test or quiz. So even if you blank, if you can remember that at least, you should be able to come up with a good educated guess. Thank you for watching this quick video at looking at places where people just don't want to live. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, support the channel. That way also you'll get notifications when I post new videos. Make sure to hit the bell so you can get all of them, and then you can stay up to date with your studies. I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you online.